Andy's favorite part of the show. You've been hearing from many of you that's your favorite part of the show as well. It's time to talk food. And in honor of National Snack Food Month, time not to just talk, but try some healthy yet tasty snacks. Zach joins Jennifer, Andy, and some special guests with more. Zach? Well, thank you, Mark. We do have a special guest today mm. because we are talking snacking. And what better of an expert to bring on than this young gentleman <laughs> right here, Andy's son, Nathan. Thanks for being on today, Nathan. You excited? All right. He he's, already, he's already been sampling, I believe. <laughs> yeah. Well, we are stuff. talking snacking because it can be a beneficial part to your diet, but it can also be a detriment. And so we want to talk about healthy snacking, not the Doritos, not the uh, whatever. I like else Doritos. I do too. You looked maybe. at me when you said Doritos, Zach. <laughs> Someday we might do a Doritos segment, but healthy <laughs> snacks today. Let's take a look at a few benefits to snacking, actually, because it can be a benefit to your diet. Did you know munching on one carrot? can give you all of your vitamin A needs for a single day. And the reason we're bringing this up is because 75% of people actually eat at least one snack a day. Maybe you're sitting around the office, maybe you're at home, and often we're snacking without even realizing mm. it. And it can just be a, a big part of our diet. And so we want to do it in a healthy way. Are you talking about the baby carrots? I believe we're talking about a full, <laughs> large, large <laughs> carrot. All right. Proper snacking can help you from overeating as well. So it can be a good part to sustaining you between meals. And so what we're gonna go over is a few healthy snacks that we do have today, starting with these frozen mm. yogurt cups here. Mm. You can see on the plate, this purple, they've got berries in it, and this is gonna be extremely easy to make. So we're gonna actually mix it right here on set, if you guys are willing to Yeah. Help. You ready to mix, Nathan? Mm -hmm. Well, the ingredients going into this one, Jennifer, if you'll take this banana, is one banana, we're gonna be having eight ounces of plain low-fat yogurt. All right. And then we're gonna be using peaches. These were actually made with berries. You can substitute the two. And then crushed pineapple. So what we're gonna do is mash the banana. And mash mashing. Nathan's gonna help us go. mash. Let me get the black masher. Get that thing mashed. Nice and strong there. It's very easy because we're gonna, after we're finished mashing here, we're gonna mix in the yogurt and the pineapple and the peaches or the berries here. How much yogurt? All of that right there in that container. Eight ounces for you at home, and these recipes will be on our website. And the great part about this is after we mix it all in, we'll stir it together, and then pretty <laughs> quickly throw it in the dessert. freezer. <laughs> <laughs> gonna pour this one in? Mm -hmm. Ready? And what we have here are just... Oh. All right, mash them up. Muffin containers here. This one, this one. Nathan's mashing it up. Good job, Nathan. How about if we mix it too? We mix and so it? after that will be stirring Did together, we'll put it in there. Now these mix. should be in the freezer for around three hours at the minimum. How did they turn that color? Is that well, different fruit? Yeah, these actually oh, okay. have berries in them, so that's why they are more purple in color. Okay. So if you, get, if you guys want to try one. Yeah, yeah. What are you, you think? out of that? It's <laughs> <laughs> destroying the mixture without being frozen. All right, here we go. Here, you want to share? Mm -hmm. Dig in. Jennifer is completing our <laughs> recipe here. Yes. <laughs> Putting them in the cups. We'll have to throw these in the freezer with the peaches in them. That is good. Here we go. And again, the what benefit is this is all natural and healthy with the fruit in there. How great to find something that's healthy and good and kids like too. And kids, yes, kid approved. Nathan approved. All right. Nathan, Mike, Mike do you have any more spoons? It. Spoon? So these frozen yogurt cups, the recipe will be on our website, but maybe you can experiment with different fruits as well to put in, but very easy, no well, added yeah. sugar other than the fruit, or the sugar that's in the fruit already, throw them in the freezer and you're done. It's frozen, isn't it, Nathan? What you can see here is we're moving on to more go, healthy snacks. Up. This is actually a gummy, homemade, all from fruit, with some gelatin in it. These are going to be two different varieties we're going to talk about. The ingredients in these are really just citrus. It's lemon and limes um, with added additional stevia or raw sugar. And then what we're going to do is boil that together. Um, strawberries and the lime and lemon juice was boiled together. <laughs> and then you can add in the box gelatin once it is boiled together and the mixture is. Want to try this? So. Nathan, give that gummy a, a chance to. How's that taste? What kinds are these, Jello? Zach? I wasn't listening. Well, you Jello? Can, it's gelatin mixed with boiled 
um, lemon and lime juice mm, and strawberries. I can taste the, the darker lemon here, juice in there. yeah, it's, it's very citrusy. The darker there are actually blackberries, blueberries, strawberries in mixture. The flavor is outstanding. I'm a little hung up on the the texture. The lighter red are actually strawberries and oranges, and those are boiled together. I like the texture of this one better than, than that one. It is a gummy texture. The kids seem to like it. Do you like it, Nathan? I like this one. Okay. Good <laughs> he likes that one. We think alike. Again, recipes on our website. Our final snack we're gonna have. We're gonna take a little bit of a turn. Maybe not as sweet here, but these are actually carrot roll-ups. Oh boy. This is carrot and cream cheese. So all my vitamin A's right here. There you go. Wrapped in a tortilla. What these actually are are our, take the tortilla, and it's spread cream cheese over it, shredded carrot, and then raisins. And then cut up on, into Andy. bites. Because you my can son do it, is Andy. Here, I have to you eat can it, do it. <laughs> what do you think, Nathan? These are very quick to make. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> and these can be a good snack, maybe during the afternoon, trying to hold up over between meals. These are quick to make. You can cut them up and just snack on them. And again, healthy. So. More? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All these recipes will be found on our website, and so we encourage you to check that out. How was it, guys? All in all, good snacks, really healthy good. eating. Yeah. Does it beat the Doritos? Oh yeah. All right. All right. Very good. Two thumbs up, Nathan. Well, we <laughs> great, Nathan. We thank you for joining us. We're gonna send it back to Mark, who's got uh, an interesting story on maybe some guys who have eaten healthy snacks mm. over the years themselves. Mark.